natural it's going to be Kohide against Horu-san. <laughs> the name is going to be hard to pronounce without being cancelled, I think. So, Horu... Uh, yeah. Horu. <laughs> Horu. <laughs> or, uh... Oh my god. This is going to be Let's a pretty... Fast. Yeah. Let's see Faust. <laughs> exactly. Let's see Faust. <laughs> Faust, here we go. Yeah. And anyways, here we go with the first match, and we can see that Four is doing a ah, pretty good job of trying to keep Kohide at bay, but Kohide very aware of the use of the Bomb of Faust and just sends it right back to them. But yeah, Wall doesn't seem to be too stranger of uh, Giovanna's uh, pressure right there. Unfortunately for him, he got sent to the corner, and right there Kohide finding the opening couldn't quite confirm with the follow-up. Why well, tried to go with an Asante to catch Wall out of the air, and just like this, the in and out. Uh, well, uh, strategy has worked very, very good for him right there. He takes the first round. お久しぶりです、ハオさん。えっと、3月30日に初めて剣を、あ、そうなんですか。お、おめでとうございます。これからもえっと、もし私を見かけたらえっと、ぜひとも試合してくださいね、ハオさん。ぜひとも試合したい
Nagori Yuki, the one and only. So two battles of the Titans. Let's see who is going to outmatch the other. Early counter hit right there from Miguel already gets the corner position. Unfortunately gets grabbed on her. Uh, probably wake up media, I suppose. Mistimed it and unfortunately got grabbed. Thank you very much for the follow, Vandal412. Really appreciate it. Oh, Gary. Oh, and finally, Zeech finds the opponent. Can bring a little bit of the heat. Pushes Megu this time around in the corner, but Megu not going down without a fight. Here we go to Konsetsu. Almost took the kill, but not quite enough. And here we go to Beyblade for the first round. Very nicely done by Zeech. Uh, I, actually, I think it's the first time I see uh, Megu play this, even though they play like Ramizol. But I think Ramizol is like one of the few matchups that can handle Megu I, I definitely think, agree. I definitely agree. Yeah, yeah. See, we, we think thanks to range, the Ram has like really good power slash. Yeah, right now Megu managed to get the throw and push into the corner. There we go. There, this is time for the blender. Now we got almost. Full meter, there we go. Let's go for the full pressure, Maestro. Oh, nice, nice throw. Uh, he jump and it's blocked. It's blocked. Yeah, have to use their uh, full bar to be safe out of this. There we go. We got the burst uh, on both sides. Ooh, that was, that was mad close. Ooh. There we go. Oh, he had to get the burst, and that's the end. That's ah, the end. Yeah, we got sorry. the blood game, the blood burst. And An that's unfortunate blood burst. Ah, euh, yo, so petite info, la musique a uh, sur place la voix d'Exon, on l'entend, mais la musique est un peu trop forte, je pense. Euh, je vais juste augmenter la voix d'Exon. Ça sera plus facile parce que la musique, je l'ai calibrée parfaitement, j'ai pas envie d'y toucher parce qu'après, elle va être trop basse vis-à-vis -vis de ma voix à moi. <rire> Donc je vais juste augmenter la voix euh, Discord Vinera qui est... Je ne sais pas où est-ce qu'elle est. Elle est où cette... Euh... Ah elle est là, elle est là, c'est bon. Ouh, elle est le perfect pour le win. Et ça c'est Zik qui a gagné. Je ne pas, ouais, ouais. Zik a gagné le premier match. Alors on va voir. Euh... Voilà. Discord. Vas-y, euh, Exon, parle un peu. Allo, oui, bonjour. mentends ton correctement Ça devrait être bien là, je pense. J'espère. Ah ça devrait aller là, ça devrait être bon. Hop là C'est bon, je t'ai bien augmenté là, normalement ça devrait le faire. Ok, and okay just bien. like this, we can see that Megu is pushing Zij in the corner, doing a very good job of applying pressure, and oh, the cheeky 6P of Zij right in the middle of the onslaught of Megu. That was really, really cheeky of him, but it worked out in the end. We we'll go with Megu and the Ram Slam. This is the signature move of Megu. Uh, they absolutely love to do it, and it actually usually works out in their favor. Very nicely done by Megu. I was actually surprised that this was 60 hit. Uh, yeah, me too. I, I, can, uh, I can tell you that if I try to do it, I'll get countered, like, immediately. <laughs> I, would, uh, Man, I would not try to do it. I uh, never yeah. understand, like, the, the decision of some player to actually throw the 6P out, but it, it actually works very well, especially in the onslaught of... Uh, of Ram, but yeah, if I do it, me, it never works. I always get countered, uh, yeah. countered <laughs> as you just said. Yeah, yeah. all the Exa time. Exactly, <laughs> exactly. It's gonna be almost the end of the round. Nice, just block. Didn't get... oh, I, I saw a Sabrobato. I saw a Sabrobato, <laughs> but but Sabrobato is countered by the Bay Blade, Bay Blade. <laughs> <laughs> the wonderful Bay Blade. And here we go. Speaking <laughs> of which, Zij, uh, back in the neutral, actually. Yeah, maybe making her uh, their way out of the corner doing a real good job of containing any type of momentum shift that Zij is trying to entertain right there. Megu actually tried to go for a, a reset instead of getting guaranteed damage. That actually worked out against them because Zij actually saw through it and was able to get the momentum back. This is a very, very hard situation. Zij does have the oh advantage and an unfortunate, or actually a fortunate Beyblade for uh, Zij manages to switch position and uh, doing a cross under that Megu was definitely not aware and ended up taking the round thanks to it. Uh, like the, the, the score is to be updated, right? Like it's, oh, like, it's not one. Yep. No, I think. yep, yep, yep. My bad. My bad. Yeah. yeah okay. So it's still RG2. I think it's like maybe a 3-0, but actually. But actually, Megu would uh, would have been a really worthy opponent. I'd say, oh, when you 
manage to, of course, if you see the throw, you can manage to dodge it, and it's already almost the end. Oh, oh man, man, look at this, uh, she's really Yuki. Exactly, <laughs> uh, the start on, of the round, on, man. On the round look at Ooh. that, it's all, oh, that was a oh, very nice that. burst, baby, into the, next to the Fukio, then, uh, immediately uh, linked to uh, command throw to avoid getting blood burst. Oh, and I still need to only one, only one opening now. Oh, 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 one again, one more, one more, just one more. Just nice to do, do one more. Your blood gauge. Oh, that, your blood gauge. Yeah, of oh, course. Okay. That, yeah, you, you got the blood gauge, but I actually managed to get the the far slash auto combo. Oh, you know that even even, oh, even on block, it, even on and block, it uh, decreases yeah. the go the, the the gauge just just a bit. It and does. there we go. Now managed manage to get in the corner. Yeah, he saw he saw he waited for the throw, but the Beyblade won again. <laughs> there is for him is like either win or lose, and usually he wins. <laughs> so we'll be seeing yeah. this really shortly. Uh, good luck to Hakuman. We'll see uh, if uh, hopefully he'll uh, he'll get something in. That that would be really godsend to see. Well, really really godlike if he manages to even take one match. It would be really cool. So, anyways, here we go. Uh, they're they're letting the intros roll. I think. Here we go. We're gonna see some bike in action right there. <laughs> Okay, so careful, Hakuman. Exxon is definitely watching you. You better not disappoint him. <laughs> the pressure is real. Not just for the tournament, but for actual... For the actual uh, performance of your bike. <laughs> it's fine, it's fine. I, I know, I know uh, he's facing Daru. <laughs> yeah. So, I might forgive him some stuff, but I'm still watching. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Okay, here we go. I'll play with you exactly. <laughs> yeah, better not hold back at the at, indeed. Here we go. Hakuman bike in against Daru Ino. Ino, start of the match right now and Steam Media start of the match with a 6 speed. Oh my lord, Daru Ino already like with the perfect reads, man. Oh, okay. Ooh, that was a bad uh, six uh, jumping 6 HS by uh, Darino, by the way. Oh, here we go with the... Oh, oh Tatsumi oh, Gaishi. That's unfortunate. Oh, but the, saved by the Tatsumi Gaishi. Very nicely done. Oh, and that grab, man. Okay. Oh, th these are new stuff that I... Oh, yeah, this is going to hit. Yeah. Oh, th that was an unfortunate. I don't know if it was a setup. I don't know, but very oh, nice that's... bait. Oh, no, the... what was that burst? Akuma, yep. what was that burst? <laughs> that burst was unfortunate. Yeah. Oh, uh, so many, so many conversions lost. That's that's so unfortunate. Yeah, I, I, I I'm guessing Hakuman is is a, a distressed right now. Of course, yeah. Because he, he 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 missed some stuff that is not missable in a, in a normal uh, time. Okay, let's go. Now, now we got a good defense. I get the rope. Ooh. The rope has sometimes have. Here we go. Oh, that I was. That's a nice conversion here. Yeah, got the the top of the key. And, and nice conversion, maybe maybe the the, the red RC. Okay, let's go. Got the to get the wall. Still uh, need oh. one opening to get uh, to get the round. <laughs> yeah, <maybe> we... <laughs> <laughs> oh my lord! The wake up the wake up counter while there was the notes on him, and it actually played out in his favor because he was capable of of catching the normal of Darwin. Oh, very nicely done by Hakuman, man. Ah, uh, unfortunately he got caught by the HCL right there and ah, uh, just like this Arino gets back the corner pressure. This is gonna be a huge Okizeme. Oh, very nice grab by Hakuman steals the turn of, Hak of, of Darino. Here we go with the pressure, very nicely done. Oh no, he gets stomped on by... Oh, and again, wake up! <gasps> is is Hakuman gonna do is it? it? In? No, it's not, oh, it's no. not the end. He's gonna... Oh, 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 oh change the first round, man! Holy crap! No! That was crazy! That was crazy! Oh. <laughs> Hakuman! Oh my lord! Show us more! <laughs> okay, here we go, the start of the match. And oh, and again the counter, man! Darino gets hit by all of them counters. This is really un uh, uncharacteristic, actually. Okay, here we go. Oh, okay, Darino finally trying to... I think trying to um, uh, temporize a bit because he's probably not used to playing a bike in like Hakuman. <laughs> I think nobody's yeah. ready to play a bike in like Hakuman. He's extremely unpredictable. That's the very the, the best point of Hakuman. You never really know what he's gonna do. And here we go with the yeah uh, the, the, grab. Yeah. You know the the base the base of uh, bike and gameplay is like disrespecting your opponent like all the all the time. Exactly. When you you, you must you must be uh, really unpredictable. Actually, uh, Hakuman 
has been unbreakable all through his run. But yeah. now we know is is the master. You know he knows how to adapt. He knows the game uh, uh, like really well. And there we yeah. go. You see, see, he knew his opponent was about to to hit like just after his Okitatami, and there's already a one one. Yeah, I wonder how Hakuman will manage to adapt to yeah. Daruino's adaptation. Yeah, because man, there are layers of uh, there are layers of reads right there that you cannot fathom. Like, the level of gameplay of both players actually is extremely good. I'm really, really surprised that Hakuman is actually managing so well right there. He's actually leading the pressure, but just like this, there, you know. Oh, Lord, that back dash from Hakuman. Oh, you can actually punish it by grabbing. I wasn't even aware. I didn't yeah, he, know. Uh, he, cause he just blocked it. Okay. He, oh, if, that's if the reason you, why. If you, don't, if you don't instant block it, instant block it, you cannot punish it with, with okay. the grab. Yeah. That was really oh, well played from, from Daru here. counter hit right there. Oh my lord, and he goes for the MT low and just like this gets the win. Very nicely done by Daruno right there. Yeah, I saw a 5P uh, right at the end of the round from, from Hakuman. I don't know if it's like a missed, uh, missed input uh, Hiragi or if it's just just like some some sort oh. of check. You know? Oh, oh, oh <laughs> what was it? Oh, that, that's that order. Favor. There we go. Never mind. Oh, he could have killed. Oh my oh, lord. Well, never mind. So, Hakuman is on a freaking roll, man! Here we go, one round apiece. Who is going to take this one? Hakuman actually deciding to back off. This is the first time he backed up ever since the start of this round. And just like this, the air contest. Oh my lord, and the, the raw yo's on scent. Here we go with the Darino reading the back uh, steps from Hakuman and actually using the H version of Stroke to catch that back dash and punish it accordingly. Here we go! What was that? That was, oh my lord, and here we go, the wake up counter from Hakuman gets back a little bit of momentum, does a huge amount of damage actually. And just Ooh, like oh. this, Hakueto, Darino takes it very nicely done. But Hakuman definitely not, no slouch, actually managing to take uh, rounds off of uh, the Darino, man. So yeah, definitely surprising stuff we're seeing right now. Yeah, definitely. My lord. Okay, what is in stores for us for this? Third, well, this fourth match actually is Hakuman going to be able to put one more on the. Oh no, that was a badly timed counter right there. Okay, here we go with the. Oh, with the note. Okay, it's a very nice grab from Hakuman. He goes for the cross up Tatami Gaishi. Okay, here we go with the dive of Darwin reading the wake up counter from Hakuman. He goes for the. Uh, aerial overdrive to try to pin Hakuman in the corner. Surprise, mother humper. <laughs> and just like man. this, Hakuman, not Hakuman, Darino on the verge of taking this set. This is match point. Yeah, main main issue of uh, most biking players that uh, I, I know it because I am, right? Is that <laughs> you, you, like, you like to do Hiragi at wake up because you think it's a DP, but actually it's way, uh, the, the, still the reward is like super super strong but the risk is way more uh is way higher so yeah. of course that, that, oh that was blocked that was, that blocked. was unfortunate <laughs> yeah it was blocked yeah but it's okay he, 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 was blocked and he, he, he took the tatami now can he can uh, he do something uh, how come on That's you the need second to wait. one you need to wait for the tatami to hit him on block and then and then press the button yeah and yeah actually what, what you can do is just wait for just, totally. just need some just need some more consistency and some stuff and it will be done Oh, definitely. Like, Hakuman is really on the verge of getting consistent uh, top 8 representation, I believe. But just as we say this, we are at the start of the first semi-finals uh, match right there. It's going to be Kohide against Zeej. Both players fought against each other plenty of different times. Usually it was on the side of Kohide. I do believe that Zeej did manage to win several times as well. But mostly, most of the wins were in favor of Kohide. Let's see how Zeej will play it on this time around. The pressure is real right there from Zeej, but unfortunately he gets uh, he gets hit by the by uh, the uh, very quick onslaught of Kohide using the very very superior speed of Giovanna to close the gap on Nagoriyuki whenever he swings a uh, well a normal and that it was that is whiffed. Kohide is really really experienced at uh, punishing whiffed buttons from uh, Zeej. So, oh, that was a safe jump. This is probably not gonna. Yeah, here we go. And just like this, Kohide takes it. Very nice conversion. Takes the first round of this encounter. 
Yeah, nicely done from uh, there's a good conversion of the 5H, yeah, you know, the 5H counter Trovel, uh, which is not actually the, the, the optimum out of a 5H, that's, that's actually super, super strange, but the optimum, the optimum is like 5H counter, 5H super, which is like completely dumb, but... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there we go. Oh, that, that was a nice conversion out of. Yeah, I think so on the 5 h and the super. Now we get a strong advantage out of Kohide. For Kohide, like, Kohide now has his burst. He's got a bar. Maybe he's gonna burst here. Yeah, there we go. Oh, the end. The Shizu didn't follow up. He, that, that hits. That's, that's like, oh, and then that's the end. That's the end. Bye bye. That's one <laughs> Very nice. Got done, the blood like. burst. Of course. Yeah, Zij, the probably I suppose his worst. Well, his uh, his how do you call it? His weak point That's is that he, yeah, he kind of doesn't really like to manage his blood gauge and disregards it in favor of just going with an infinite onslaught, and this usually ends up biting him in the butt on the long run. But yeah, Zij, when he gets his offense going and he actually opens you up. Regardless of whether his blood gauge is high or not, you are going to die. <laughs> but I think he realized a little bit too much on this and doesn't pay attention enough to his blood rage. But that being said, uh, he's doing a good job right there of trying to temporize the... Ah, and here we go. Just like we talk about this, yeah. Koide punishes the blood rage and just like this, Deej loses this uh, one as well. Yeah, I think yeah. As, as you said, the his only weak point is like not uh, putting an eye on on his blood gauge like enough, or maybe he's using way too many uh, specials. You know. Yeah, exactly. So, I think. Look, well, look, at, look at that! Look at that! He's already he's already <laughs> full. Like he did two Fukio. If he doesn't yeah. do, I think his his command grab like he's yeah. most likely done. Or maybe he can finish it. There's the weak punish. With the super, I don't know because he hit many times with uh, some some normals. Yeah, maybe he's gonna have to use his burst. No, that that was a um, good good decision here to not do it. And yeah, yeah, did manage to get to let off. Uh, I mean, to keep the guard for the last hit. Yeah, remember that the last hit of the what's it what's it called the the far slash auto combo has a yeah. I think it's a two or three frames gap uh, between the oh. second and the third. So that's effectively a frame trap. Okay, I wasn't aware yeah. of this. Okay. Yeah, and this yeah, is why I, I, uh, I wow. like when Nago does this, like, carry it. <laughs> and just like this, Zij actually takes the, the second match right there. We have a match, ladies and gentlemen. That second match was so quick. I barely had the time to commentate anything. But that being said, here we go with Zij and the beginning of the onslaught. Effectively denies Kohide his right to get the momentum back. But unfortunately, Kohide finds the small gaps, you know, um, ever so slightly, manages to push the burst and force it upon Zeej. Right now, we have both characters without any sort of burst. The person who gets open right now is going to face a lot of damage. And here we go with Zeej starting his onslaught. Okay, being a little bit more wary of his, his blood gauge right there. Very nice command grab right like this. He can go out body as much as he want. If he plays his card correctly, he might be able to... Ah oh, no, that was for that was the that was oh my lord, oh my lord! <laughs> Beach doesn't give a crap, man. He doesn't care. <laughs> that was crazy good. He got the holy power of the Beyblade, so he doesn't exactly. care. The holy power of the Abari. <laughs> oh my lord. Oh oh, man. <laughs> careful there, Look yeah. All careful. Oh yeah, he already made. That's a nice backdash! That was a very nice backdash. Oh. I definitely did it. Oh yeah. my lord! <laughs> oh my lord! <laughs> he doesn't, he doesn't Zeech care! Zeech doesn't care! Zeech doesn't, doesn't give a freak! <laughs> this is crazy! My lord, wake up command grab. Yeah, this is not the first time he actually does this, by the way. Well, actually, it wasn't wake up command grab, it was yellow Roman cancel into the command grab, yeah. But yeah, just like this, man, uh, Zeech takes the uh, third match, and oh, here we go on to the next battle. Let's see if Kohide can find some contingency plan to try to contain that 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 huge tornado that is Zeech. No pun intended with the Beyblade, though. Oh, my lord. And here we go with Zeech, really aware of... Uh, uh, finally, oh, that was a bad lead time. Oh, okay, Zeech decided not to use... Uh, Okay, and just like this, he's gonna take it again. Man, okay, I think that Zeej recognized that uh, Kohide was really idle and susceptible to get command grab. This is like the third command grab in a row that he manages to place on Kohide. Very nicely done by Zeej. 
Chica definitely. But still, Kohide has uh, some Chica of his sleeve, I guess. Because, yeah, you know, Giovanna. Giovanna has like a, a lot of good tools to, to deal with Nago, so it's not it's never easy, you know. Like back in the day, the, the very old day when I played Giovanna, <laughs> you know. <laughs> uh, the only the only way I found to beat uh, to beat the Nago Yuki is like to play super lame and with punish uh, in, uh, as much as possible. So may maybe we we are going to see like Zid trying to do that. That's that's a nice punish of the back. That still got one ah. bar. We got whoop, there we go and there we go. That's the end of the round that, that was a nice uh very nice re reaction from oh yeah uh, the from prc Kobe. was really yeah. nicely done yeah immediately yeah. saw that z pop the prc and the back dash in the process and quite recognizing it and using himself the prc to slow down the back dash of z and punish him on his recovery frames that was extremely well done and very nice reflexes from him just like this cool they actually really try just getting all of the momentum back look at that counter hit masante it helps him to get the uh, wall break. Right now, he is he has a full tension meter, and oh, the days will yeah. definitely do. This is definitely that's death, the yeah. end. Yeah, that's definitely yeah. Death. Well done by Kohide. He takes the second match. Well, the fourth match. We have a match, ladies and gentlemen. I think we have a connection error, though. Think I hope that the 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 update will make it so that both players are sent back in the lobby together with us. I really hope so. <laughs> Please make it so. I it's think that's it. I think that's it. Now they they're not allowed to rematch unless the spectator the spectators are ready. So we were lied to. I'm having massive uh, problem connecting to my phone. Oh really? Okay. Uh, can you try to go to a park, Murasaki uh, Megusan? Can you try to go to a park? Let me check real quick. You in the meantime the match. Just started, yeah. I think uh, Hifumi. I think Daruino noticed, like, if if he watched the the last match, that uh, Hifumi likes to use the DP a lot. And you, and let me tell you, you don't use, you don't match DP against Daruino. Like, he knows this. And there we go. It already got a wall break. Uh, almost no health. Ooh, the sultry performance. Yeah, as I said, you don't match DP. And that's already the first round for Daruino. Oh, t'es là Là, j'arrive, là. Je suis juste en train d'écrire ah, okay. parce qu'il y a un problème avec les Ah, ok. Ok, ok, pas de soucis. Yeah, yeah. Marino is very patient here. He knows that uh, a DP can be thrown at, at any moment. Just have to be patient. Yeah, better not crouch against Sino. You never you never know. That, that was a nice DP, though. Yeah, ok. Got the... He's not carrying... He decided to do a backstab perch until the backstab key. So, ok. Oh, that was so nice! That was so nice, uh, the super, what's it called? The Leiden Shafto Diriganto. I did, I did manage to get the conversion out of the of this jump edge. And that's the end on this counter on, on the 2D. I think it was it was a 2D. It was, yeah, it was a 2D. Uh, and then again, a 2D that was countered by a 2H. And it's already 104, that we know. Sorry. Uh, yeah, one for that we know. I'm sorry, I really need to... <laughs> to uh, yeah. Yell. No worries. Sure, we're gonna strike to post. Match. That was a nice two way to do, uh, like stop rush the the Zvite here. Okay, you don't know if it's uh, on top or if it's above. Nice check here with the airs. The, the, I mean, 5p airs. That's good. That's good. Got full bar. There we go for the super that will kill the his opponent with some style. Damn. That's good. That's good. Yeah. I like I like seeing it when when he has like two bar. He knows he knows he can do the command grab super. Like I, I like I like this. I like this super it's pretty cool. I love this hey. super man. It does so much damage and oh my lord. Oh did you see the walk forward from Daru my lord oh he's not even relying on the on using the uh the time oh my lord that onslaught Oh my lord look at this what is he, is he taunting because he could have killed him right now 
That was a How? taunt, man. That was a taunt. <laughs> oh my lord. What? What is that? What is that? What is that cheesy play, Darwino? What are you oh doing? Oh my lord, that was a taunt, man. Holy <laughs> crap, that was a statement by Darwino. Yeah, I can kill you, but I'm still gonna play with you a little bit more. You wanna DP that much? Try to DP on me, man. <laughs> oh lord. That cheeky play from Daru-san. Very, very well done by him. He gets the lead for, uh, by 2-0. And uh, let's see if Hifumi is going to... Find something, you know, because oh lord, that was that hurt. <laughs> yeah. Hey. Okay, now, now he knows. Now he for me knows like he must not uh, mash DP. Yeah, that was a nice two H check. Yeah. yeah. The two H check is like so strong to avoid getting hit by this Vita. Here, I'm gonna do the same with, with my five H. Nice. <laughs> yeah. Darwino knows that. Leo cannot do any fight in neutral unless there's some some uh, setup behind it. And does he have the bar? Yeah, he doesn't care basically. Yeah, it was way, just enough to take enough. it. Yeah. Exactly. Thanks to the wall break, the additional damage that is set. Darino was actually able to take this one. Here we go with Darino just really doing a good job of just you. <laughs> oh my lord, fishing for them. <laughs> Zvite, man, just fishing for them. And yeah, man, even gets a. Oh my lord, the onslaught, yeah. Oh lord, I can feel that like Darwin gets a little bit mildly annoyed by the matchup. I can I can feel it. I don't know why, but I'm feeling it. And here we go with Daru, you know, man, uh, yeah. just disregarding. Oh, no, oh, the double D. Oh. Yeah, he's patient. Like, you know the the you know the two D like he's, he's just Ooh. barely safe. So he's just barely safe. So he knows that he can like um, oh, match DP out of it. The 3-0 song is allowed on Twitch. Uh, well, basically, you can't really know for sure. But what you can do for sure is just use songs which come from video games. If you do, usually you won't have any problems. And uh, if you want to use the song request feature, which you can find uh, by using the channel points, if you click on the you know the Brojo Modo Jo the Brojo Modo Jo your channel points. Uh, you can <laughs> make you can play a song if you want, but just make sure it's a song from a video game. For the rest, it's okay. But I, I just don't play any like uh, you know industrial song like Eminem or Metallica or you know any big songs that are really really commercialized. Just play like video game songs. In that case, there's no problem. Okay, and here we go with an early uh, finally Gilgi forced to burst from Hakuman, and Hakuman yeah, actually basically... managed to take the first round. Yeah, and, and ba basically, uh, big, I mean, heavy characters uh, are not a good matchup for uh, for Baiken because they, because they of they they uh, what is it, wait, they make every like a ton of setup uh, miss. <laughs> that, that, that's, that's a nice combo. You love to see it down the system. That's exactly. the end. Exactly. Oh, that's oh, actually no, not the end. No, yeah, yeah, but you the don't care because you get that. <laughs> yeah, the magic thing. <laughs> Damn. Very nicely yeah. done by Gil. He actually manages to take the first round of this, yeah. well, the first match of this match. Yeah. Uh, God, Lewis, match. God Lewis, thanks to his uh, Behemoth Typhoon and his pretty good far slash, yeah. he manages to outrange most of Baiken's uh, normals and, and, and setups. So, yeah, hmm. it, it's a very hard, it's not a very, but it's a hard oh, matchup wow. for, for Baiken. I'm actually curious how Hakuman will handle it. I That's can nice definitely, I concur with uh, with your, uh, well, with your opinion. Yeah, I definitely can see how uh, Viking can struggle against bigger size characters, especially those who have range and those who have a very big damage output. Because as we know, well, Viking doesn't have the best defense and health in the game, and uh, she does have a pretty nice reach, but is definitely outreached by, by most of the very big. Characters who have uh, well farther reach than she does. Oh my lord! And wake up grab from Gilgi definitely didn't like the fact that Hakuman just woke up and used the counter oh, against him. Oh, and almost got it. That was unfortunate. A little bit too far to uh, get the killing blow right there. Oh my lord! And the IAD into the Behemoth, man. The aerial Behemoth, really nicely done by Gilgi. This is the first round. Yeah, you got the slides. You got like this, this floating. State when you use the the beam of Typhoon right after an air dash, that is, that is pretty fun. That, that was a nice throw. 
Nice throw here, yeah, it's behind. Nice block also from, from Yogi here. Yeah, you can... Oh, you could have Tatami! You could have used Tatami, <laughs> that's that's sad, but whatever. Okay, it's fine. Oh, never oh, never do that yeah. against the gold Lewis, yeah. Yeah, you know, because oh, the beam was like... What, what, the, what the hell was that? That was the best counter in the world. Like, Hakuman yeah, is the I counter can... master. Like, you have, yeah, like, I, the I, DP I master is Sora, and the counter master is Hakuman. <laughs> yeah. Definitely. Actually, oh, oh that, that's a nice. That was nice. That's that nice. Was nice gun. <laughs> that's nice, this, man. This gun was kill or be killed, you know? Exactly. <laughs> that's, it. that's it. If I lose my gun, yeah, I'm dead. <laughs> All right, and oh that's my it. Lord. Nice one. Yeah, you must you must avoid like uh, being hit by the, the behemoth most of the time, as most of them are positive on block. Oh, that was a check, and that's blocked. Yeah, you can actually parry it. Oh, it was too, it was too far. That's that's sad. But okay, whatever. Tag, Ooh. tag. Yeah, that, that that's a nice oh, counter. You got a uh, very nice combo. Got the conversion. Got the super. Will it kill? It's not. Hey, I don't hey, think so. hey. Yeah. It doesn't kill. Yeah, that that doesn't kill. But it's fine. It's fine. Hey, he got the Okizen. Hey, nice. Yeah, <laughs> you got you got an IBFD. <laughs> Gilgi was... managed to do an IBFD, but that was that, that was actually useless. But still, it's cool to see. <laughs> exactly, and just like this, Hagumon actually manages uh, to put one on the board as well. He definitely wants to be in the top five of this tournament. I can feel it. I can smell it. But uh, yeah, we'll be seeing. Okay, so Gilgamesh actually managed to uh, win against Megu. Wow, that is pretty crazy, actually. That is good. That is good. And uh, what we're gonna do is we still have a couple of matches uh, between Hakuman and Gilgi. So first, get on with these ones, and then we'll be moving on to Gilgamesh and uh, his opponent's match. Again, just like this, we have Yogi slightly, ever so slightly, trying to push Hakuman in the corner, but Hakuman having nothing, nothing to do with it. Oh, very nice tech by Hakuman. That was, uh, she, oh my lord, again the counter, man. Hakuman's counter uh, rate has been actually pretty good, I think, seriously. Oh, yeah. <laughs> what the hell was that? What the hell was that combo? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can you can actually combo it. Yeah, right, right. Before combo. your your opponent uh, touches the ground, you can actually combo it. Uh, th that said, could have like uh, fetched his character, uh, his opponent with the five K, uh -oh. but may prefer the, the, the closest. The, the closest is like not really the best one in this game, but whatever. Yeah, Hakuman puts himself in danger. Yeah, the parry is really a good a good option. A uh, good option against uh, Go Lewis Okizeme. Oh, but that's gonna hurt. There we go. Oh my lord Got again. Oh. I had to grab, he it wasn't a counter. Yeah. My bad. Yeah, my yeah, because you, you, you can counter if the the, the bomb is, is near you, yeah, and you're gonna get hit 100%. Oh, and yeah, you must not backdash because you got. Your opponent got a really good range too, thanks to the to the him of Typhoon. Yeah. yeah. Actually, I, I I love seeing like Hakuman's uh, parries, but sometimes I think he commits like oh, way yeah. too much. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. No, the Hakuman. <laughs> I, I personally believe he uses way too much as well. Like, we used to, to play against each other a lot. We played actually yesterday together. And the number of times I've baited his counter on Wake Up, like, it's it's crazy. He does it extremely yeah. often, and people don't tend to understand that he actually does it more often than he wakes up and block. Like, seriously. Yeah. <laughs> oh I, 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 I sometimes have the feeling that I'm the only bike in there who, who doesn't like to use the period uh, as a. I mean, at Wake Up. I personally don't like, like using it either. It's so, I, yeah. it, it's so obvious, man. It's so mm. obvious that you're gonna use it. You just have to like throw a projectile, and you're you're basically safe. Yeah. And, oh, and that, that, that was also, a nice combo. That was a very nice combo. combo. And also add to the fact that if your counter your if your counter is baited, you're in counter state basically. So that means a huge damage in uh, a huge combo incoming if your opponent baits it. So yeah, there's just too many like um, there, there's too many variables to this counter that. This makes it a very, very uh, high risk, low reward type of. Uh, well, the reward is actually pretty decent, I think. Like, the damage of the counter yeah. is actually no nothing to be trifled with. But yeah, that being said, here we go with Hakuman in the corner. Oh my lord, that behemoth in reactions to Zikabari, man. Yeah. That was crazy. And just like this, Gilgi on the verge of taking it. Yeah, we are on match point. Let's see if Hakuman. Oh my lord. Start with the. Yeah. Oh no, badly Whoa. timed behemoth. Aerial behemoth right there. Okay. Okay. Oh my lord, you can kill the drone with the. Okay. No, 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 you can't. Not like this. 
Okay. Not like the. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It, it, not like it's just it's just that it disappeared after hitting the Tatami. But yeah, I actually, you can you can kill you can kill it, but only with the ground attack. Ah, was oh. it? Oh. Is it? Is okay, it? Dead. Okay. You will okay. kill. Oh, you will kill. You will kill. Yeah, actually. this is gonna kill. That's, yeah, that, that's two two. Yeah, two two. We have a match, guys. Holy crap! Well done by Hakuman. Brings it back and just like this, we are going on to the final match of this encounter. Very, very hype match we have right there. Not just this one, but every single one we had previously. Especially by Hakuman, man. Hakuman is playing extremely good today. Not that he doesn't play yeah. good in, in normal times, but like especially today, like he's on a on a on a, he's on, on the fire. stream, right? He's on fire, man. His match with uh Daruino definitely made it so that he's woken up, I think. <laughs> yeah, it would be it would, would actually be sad that he uses here because he's made a really pretty good run. Uh now. I agree. Yeah, Ooh, he can, he but can actually nice. do it, but like, yeah, Golu is zoning. Go oh, look at that! He's open and zoning yeah. with the, the behemoth. Espe especially the, especially I mean the, the 684. 684 is actually I think in my opinion his Ooh. best. Uh, Ooh. Oh his, no! His best. Oh! oh, oh. <laughs> yeah, that was the, a fail by both characters right there, by both players right there. A big fail. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Actually, the 684 is in my opinion the best. Uh, Best Behemoth Typhoon version, as you can do uh, uh, everything. Like uh, you can zone with, with it. This, uh, you can. Mm. Oh, okay. you, you can. You can actually. You can zone with it. You can. It's a very freaking good combo, and there is actually the best one. It is. It is. You can and, do, uh, you, you can I do everything. I didn't agree with the. Uh, I didn't agree with the Roman cancel, but I actually managed to uh, get the kill. So very nice. Uh, judgment by Hakman to wake up. Overdrive is doing a lot of damage, on the man. Splash. And he's covering, so he's right next to him, yeah. Oh no! One hit, that was one hit left. One hit left. Only ah, one on, don't, don't choke, don't choke, don't choke, don't choke. How come on, don't choke. Oh! You know what to do? No, you had it! Come on. You had it! Come on, you had it! Come on! Oh! Come on, yeah, there we go. He had the farm and just like this. Yeah, but check, if you check the bracket, you'll see that if Gilgamesh manages to win this, this match, then he yeah. will face off his uh, opponent again, I mean, he for me. <laughs> yeah, definitely. <laughs> well, oh, it won't yeah, be the he, run. he can't I... get his revenge, man. Yeah, he absolutely yeah. needs to win this one, yeah. Was, Good luck to... Nice, uh, just block here. Oh, there we go. That was just the read, and... No, oh, it's not going to be converted into a super, but get the safe wall with the read again. There we go. That's, that's a nice big punish here. I, I think that actually only those pretty well against uh, Potemkin. Of course, if you don't burst uh, where you should do. <laughs> uh, this is... Oh, no! And oh, oh, my lord! Oh, the double oh, miss input from... Oh, and the triple! <laughs> grab from Politech, man. Politech going crazy, man. <laughs> he wants it. He wants it. He wants his Potemkin Buster. Yeah, definitely wanted his Potemkin Buster. Unfortunately for him, this spell death for him. This is unfortunate, but it's still okay. Here we go he wants with... To... He wants to activate the Yonju Hachi no Hisatsuwaza. <laughs> exactly, that's it, man. But he didn't activate it here, unfortunately. Very nice back that from Gilgamesh. Should get out of the pressure. He recognizes. He wants it. Like, poly like really. Yeah, the Polytank wanted to use the uh, quick uh, Roman cancel into the uh, Potem Buster, but yeah, Gilgamesh, uh, aware of it, actually manages to jump over it. Okay, here we go. The pressure is real. Gilgamesh really doing a good job of. Yes, for oh, and this time around he gets swept. He gets like, scooped. He gets he gets like, uh, scooped. Yeah, like Poritank. Poritank's mindset is like PB or nothing. Yeah, exactly, exactly. <laughs> I, I don't care. I don't. Why why would I bother opening with like strong combos and, and huge setup? Like, I, like exactly. You just need to put them in Buster. That's all we need. Put them in Buster, and and that's it. That's it. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Oh my lord! Oh, that Potemkin Buster hurt a lot, and here we go with the first match going to Politank. Really, really well played. Let's see if uh, Gilgamesh is going to find a adjustment, a way to try to turn the tide of battle. Hopefully, it will be the case. We shall see in a couple of seconds once we get back to the match. Because as you already know, the update of <laughs> the update of Guilty Gear did not solve the connection error that we had. We just had one, and it kicked us out of the match. This is really unfortunate. Anyways, that being said, here we go back to the match. And quick start of the battle with an IAD from Gilgamesh. Politank being extremely uh, conservative didn't, uh, well, didn't panic burst right there. 
And unfortunately for him, Gilgamesh did panic burst. And oh, but here we go with Politank with the Garuda Impact. Unfortunately, he went again <laughs> for the Potemkin Buster. But Gilgamesh reading the situation back, that Ching adequately and punishing Ooh. Politank accordingly. And this is going to be huge damage. Oh, but no conversion from Gilgamesh. This is unfortunate. Ooh, la. The far edge from Politank scoops Gilgamesh once again. And here we go with Politank recognizing that Gilgamesh might be backdashing a little bit too often. Mine and Zeej off stream, right? Uh, no, 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 no. Yours is on stream. Every match right now is gonna be streamed. Uh, um, uh, oh, come on. Every match. We're in top eight right now. It's it's streamed. Everything is streamed. And uh, here we go. Uh, I'll let you the comments. Yeah, Okay, well, well, actually, it's <laughs> only the end of the second match, and it's like a two-o. Yeah, uh, Poritank, I think Poritank made made a really great job by uh, conditioning his opponent to do like PB PB all the time. So that you, of course, you know that you, if you know your uh, the, the Potemkin is gonna is gonna try to PB every time. You you wanna like jump or backdash or everything, and Poritank is taking the opportunity to always like. Doing his uh, Garuda impact or just just a simple close slash. Close slash. But then close slash is actually mad strong if it's um, correctly delayed. Even if the opponent like backdashes or jumps, he, he'll get hit on on the on the pre jump frame. Exactly. And, and that's that's the that's really good. Like you, you can you could have seen maybe maybe you saw in the in the second match that Poritank uh, Poritank oh. actually made a way less uh, Potemkin busters. Oh my oh. god! <laughs> What are you doing? What are you doing? Like, Landing right in front of me. Do you want like, to get scooped? Yeah. <laughs> like, like, dude, oh uh, dude, I just, uh, I don't oh even have to move. He grabbed he him in the middle of his, uh, his, um, overhead right there. Oh my he lord. Oh, he's a, here we go. He doesn't rock. even have to move. He doesn't have to move. Just have to wait. Then Jim Kid Buster. <laughs> exactly. Man, Polytank is some really, really fun, fun player. Oh my lord, that was crazy. Well played from Gilgamesh, very... Oh, and the Mega Fist for the win. This is unfortunate yeah. for... Uh, for Polytank. That dust combo was sweet. It was, it was, indeed. Okay, here we go, oh my lord, and the Kara uh, command grab at the start of the round by Polytank. But Gilgamesh actually uh, probably reading it and just backdashing, just to be sure. Oh, no oh. conversion for you, sir. And here we go with Polytank. Oh my lord, oh, this is gonna do... Oh my lord. This is it, gonna be is hard. The end? No. Uh, yeah, this is not it. the end, but oh yeah, yeah, is it? Yeah, he he let off his guard. Like Lord. maybe maybe he gave up. Maybe he gave up. Right? Yeah. Winners final. Then we'll move to winners final. Then we'll move to uh, to huh? the grand final. Uh, the winner final yeah, and the yeah. grand final. Yeah. yeah, exactly. So it's gonna be losers semi final, winners grand uh, winners final, then losers final, then grand final. Yeah, that's what we were gonna do. Basically. Yeah. Okay. All right. Go the start of the match. Yeah, nice one. Oh, did manage to get the conversion out of, out of his uh, his rope Yozan Sen, but it's fine. It's fine. Actually, uh, to win against Nagariki, it's sad, but actually to win against Nagariki, you have to play pretty lame. So, yeah, and, and t take every opportunity to be punished. Like like Hakuman just did here. He did like really well. That was nice. Oh, unfortunately, this, this Robin Kinsel was not very useful. But okay, okay, it's fine. Nice gold burst here. Like he's got he's got every every resource he needs to. Get everything. Okay, didn't manage unfortunately to get this um, Kenju hit. But ah, da, 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 da. What, what was it? What was it? No! Oh, Almost, no. Ah! he saw it. Yeah, yeah, he yeah. saw it. It blocked. It blocked. It. Yeah, yeah. Hey, hey. <laughs> nice punish by Zeej. And just like this, this is the first round goes to Zeej. Let's see if Hagman will find some sort of adaptation. But just right now, Hagman gets definitely. Frame trap left and right. He is escorted in the corner, but too late for Zeej. He wasn't able to get the 6p as a punish from Hagman falling down after the uh, PRC. Oh my lord, the air to air in favor of Zeej unfortunately mistimes his meaty and gets grabbed by Hakuman. Hakuman, the onslaught is real. Very nice lead on backdashes while being kabarried and uses the jumping S into the Yozon Sen and opens his opponent thanks to it. Oh my lord, and Z just pressing button in the onslaught of Hakuman. Hakuman still with the uh, burst, by the way. So still... Oh, you come back here. <laughs> oh my lord. 
This is I, I, I love this. Yeah. I love this setup. Oh, but, like, but, 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 oh no! Oh, the burst no. baited! Oh. The burst got baited. This is unfortunate. And first <laughs> yeah. match goes to Zeej. But yeah, still, Aquaman did some pretty nice stuff there. That was nice, yeah. The, uh, the what's called the fireworks into, uh, well, the, the block stun and the grab when he came back down. That was pretty sick. That was well done. Yeah. And here we go with the second yeah, I... match of this encounter. Yeah, you'll have actually if the if the gun hits instead of being yeah. blocked, if the gun hits, you can actually convert it. <laughs> like it's, yeah, it's a free conversion. Can. You can, yeah. That's actually <laughs> sick when it happens. I love it when it does. And he yeah. gets scooped by the uh, cross up uh, Tatami Gaishi. Oh my lord, that 2 H says counter and that did a ton of damage. Oh, sad. <laughs> Oh my lord, he goes with the reset right there. Nice! The, the mix is, yeah. Oh, oh, oh the counter that, 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 may be, that may be the end. No, that's not the end. He could have, like, used his super than Roman cancel, uh, I guess, to, to be sure to get the wall. The, the wall break, then kill. <laughs> he wants the round. He wants the round. Look, he's panicking. He's panicking. No, don't panic. Don't panic. No. Don't panic. Don't panic. No. Akuma like, was on the verge of winning his fromage, but he couldn't finish his this, fromage. This is unfortunate. This, this is what we call the fear of winning. Exactly. Of winning. Yeah. yeah. And unfortunately that's, for Akuma, nice. he was really on the verge of winning, but yeah, too, too passive at the end and couldn't quite seal the deal. But very nice to back there. Ooh! Ooh, and nice. that's... Oh, 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 that's the verge. Almost got it. That was sick. That was almost sick, actually. Yeah. Yeah, see, when when I, when I tell you that uh, Viking doesn't like to face uh, heavy mm. characters, yeah, she can get the conversions, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah actually, okay. actually, she can. Actually, she can if if Hakuman uh, uses his 5k instead of close slash. Okay. Mm, mm, mm. <laughs> okay, here we go. The, oh my lord! And yeah, Zeke oh, recognizing oh, yes. that Hakuman is very quick to to burst and just. When he sees that Hakuman has his burst, what he does is, on hit, when he sees that he hits his once, hits him, hits him once, he doesn't continue the, the combo and just lets Hakuman uh, burst and then punishes his, uh, his burst attempt. Yeah, so very nice recognition from Z, really recognizing that Hakuman is very burst, uh, burst, uh, how do you call it? Burst, uh, love you. Burst, uh, fancy? Burst, savvy? Burst. I don't know. He like loves to burst. <laughs> I mean, he's, yeah. he's burst attentive. I don't know. Yeah, yeah, burst uh, lovey. I don't know, but anyways, he loves to burst. This is what I'm trying to say. Again, just <laughs> like this, we are going on to the next battle. Let's see how it goes. I think we might have a connection error, by the way. Oh, we don't. Oof. I Thank hope goodness. not. No, no, we, oh, we don't. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Let's see mm. if Hakuman like can manage to get uh, at least one match. Or why maybe maybe win everything? Yeah, you see. See, he's mm, like using mm. his very at wake up and that's the punishment. Yeah. Like, look at that two hits combo. Uh, already, already no help. <laughs> okay, that, this one was good. This one is actually good as long as it's not um, as long as it's not abusive. Mm. You've got so many other uh, way to use the, the parry correctly, but uh, you actually have to, to to find them and not like spamming it at, at wake up. It's, it's like oh my lord. Really Oh my god, that was so well played. And ah, this is is it, it the end already? Mm, this oh, is, yeah, 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 it's, it's over. It's over, it's over. Well played by Z, that was... That was pretty quick. <laughs> the perfect, man. Perfect. Well, I have a, uh, uh, an earthquake! Oh shit! Oh shit, I had an earthquake. Uh, we have a big earthquake, damn it. <laughs> we have a big earthquake. Oh shit. Okay. Yeah, you, you can see it move, I think. Can you see it move? Oh, damn. We have an earthquake. Uh. Oh. Okay, it's still not over. It's... Yeah, it's over. It's, it's over. Damn. Okay, here we go with Kifumi. Actually, already down a lot of health right there. And Politank, yeah, we're sitting quite comfortably with... Uh, most of his health, but he doesn't have the burst. And here we go with Hifumi and just letting the dragon rip, man. Not afraid. Ooh, he couldn't quite get the conversion. This is unfortunate for him. Oh, my lord. There I am. Yep. Welcome back. 
Oh, and Pony Tank. Oh, my lord. Catching the uh, back uh, Mega Fist with the overdrive. Really nicely done by Hifumi. And just like this, the tick throw for the win. Really well done by Hifumi. Takes the first round. Yeah, that look, that look, this match looks pretty, pretty neat, actually. What? what? That was crazy. They jump in, they jump oh in at the Lord. same time. Yeah, you know, you, you you must not do that against Leo, right? Because, of oh! course, can... Ooh, and that's the burst! The burst is baited! Can he get the full conversion? Yes, yeah, he the he did. Sal Fabel. Sal <laughs> I love, like, I I, I love like this. <laughs> oh, my Lord. I call it Iron yeah. Bouquet. <laughs> oh, Iron my Lord. Bouquet. And the I and the I nugget burn. I just hope we won't challenge. have to, to, to face this like after each match. Yeah, that, that would and, might be annoying. <laughs> you know, yeah. <laughs> yeah, very, very annoying. Well, anyway, there we go. Uh, the, the match, the match already started pretty well for Kifumi. If Kifumi la likes to use his uh, his guard point, his guard point here. That's that's um, maybe a good choice, but pretty pretty risky. Well, until then, until now, I mean, it, it already. It, um, Work every time, so why why stop? Look at that, yeah. It's oh my I lord. Think, I think managed oh to no. be quite patient. Oh damn! He's oh. close on block. No, no, he's not punished. The gold bridge is not punished. I think hey, he was very hey. surprised right. by this, yeah. Ooh, and what, the conversion. It? Is he gonna get the kill? He what, is. What is damn? Man, the what is was this sick, right? <laughs> What that conversion was sick, man. That was pretty sick, yeah. What the hell? Well what a sourire sur the sur front. Ah, merde, merde. Okay. Here we go. And yeah, just like this, uh, here we go with Holly uh, Hifumi managing to get the sickest conversion out of every conversion possible. Oh, and here we go with Polyzen uh, trying to get the uh, hit knuckle. Here we go, and the, yeah, the, Gar the Garuda impact schmix right there. You get hit, you lose half of your life. Oh, here we go with Hifumi with mixes of his own. Brings the heat and goes for the overhead. Oh my lord, trying to fish for any normal right there. And he actually managed to get it. Look at the damage. He's gonna get the heavy knockdown. Oh, almost got the conversion actually right there. Oh, and the mega fish, yeah. Oh, very nice. Very nice patience from... Uh, oh, okay, okay. Wow, that was great. Oh, good. That Very was that good. Nicely done. Yeah. <laughs> we did it! Yes! <laughs> Finally! Okay. Now imagine that uh, imagine that Polytank brings it back. <laughs> and we have to go through each match for 40 minutes. I, I, would, to get. I, I would rage quit the cast. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go, raw dust right there, right form Hifumi. This is gonna do a lot of damage actually, can all things considered. Oh, and here we go with Hifumi. Mixing up his options, this is gonna do, yeah. Well done, Hifumi. Yes. It's already the end. The yeah. Win. <laughs> On to the match point right there for Hifumi. Let's see if Politan can bring adjustments. Oh, oh lord. What was that? Yeah, the impact in neutral, like it's the first time. New concept. You don't know. <laughs> All right. Yeah, he doesn't know. He doesn't know if he has. To, to hit or not because the DP can uh, arrive. Yeah, the yeah. patience. Very nice Look at patience. His patience. It was so nice of him. Yeah. Ooh. All right. Ooh. That, that was nice. Okay. Oh no, my lord, that bait. And that's. Stahl oh, Virbel. No. What? It's not what you. He hit it too early. It was during yeah, he his, uh, the, his burst, the, yeah. The invul invul invisibility frames of the, the gold burst. Like, what the hell? <laughs> what the hell is this match, man? <laughs> hey. Hey, okay, it was, it was before uh, the image was, was in front. No, hey, no, the, the PB. He backdashed. He backdashed. That's, that's nice. Ah. And that's the PB. Right. And here we go with the PB. Is Politan going to bring it back? Is he going to bring it back? <laughs> Will we have other connection errors? Oh, here we go. That was a big counter hit right there. Aerial counter hit again. The counter hit. He threw me on with the. Oh, with the pressure, is he gonna? Oh, he didn't get the conversion. Oh, oh. But it's still okay, he that's got the. That's gonna hurt. Oh lord. Yeah, and this is the gonna conversion. do. There we go. A lot of damage. Hey. Still has his burst though. Oh. And there oh. we go. He doesn't have oh. his burst. <laughs> oh my <laughs> lord. That whiff festival at the end. That was pretty cool. Jake this is gonna be Zige against Kifumi. Alors, euh, Sensei, je te laisse commenter vite fait, je vais aller oui. faire pipi et boire. Oh, oui. Pas de problème.
Okay, so here we got like Nagoriyuki against Leo. This is the matchup I, I rarely see, but uh, by default, I just say that by default the matchup is for Nagoriyuki, alright? <laughs> because we all know. We all know, but uh, right now, uh, Hifumi is doing like pretty good pressure uh, against Zichi. Oh, what the hell was that? DP, this, this is gonna hurt. Okay, he decided to use his burst. That was a good burst. And actually, maybe Zichi is gonna use his burst. Yes, there we go. There we go. That was that was a, a, a good decision here. He maybe wants. Oh no! No, didn't get the conversion. Oh, he didn't get the conversion out of it. What? 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 What, what was that? What, dude? <laughs> he backdashed the YRC. <laughs> he backdashed the YRC. Like, like you, you don't have the chance to see it like every day. All right. And again, you've got the DP that is punished, but a huge conversion out of these uh, five H Shizuri Yuki. Right? Okay. Hey, hey. Nice uh, uh, RC. Did manage to get a good conversion out of it, but whatever. Okay, I got the, the closest in Meaty that grants the round. You see, just like one round uh, each. Hey, again, the DP that is baited. Man, oh, now we got the burst. Oh my god, it looks like every DP is, is currently baited from now. It's already the end. Yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah, and that's the super. It's almost it's almost the perfect. It's not, it's not, but almost. Okay, and that's one oh. Isn't it the perfect? No, no, it's I not. Have to slash. It's okay, not. Okay. Very nicely done by ZG. Damn, you he went on a freaking stream over right there. That was crazy. First match goes to Zeej. Uh, Yuki Nagome. <laughs> Berenio, definitely <laughs> not in favor of Nagori Yuki. I think you're probably not the only person who doesn't bear very nice feelings towards Nagori Yuki, it's totally understandable. I personally don't like the matchup either, but it is what it is, and uh, until the patch comes out, we will have to deal with it. But yeah, but you have to give a credit where it's due. Zeech had some pretty, pretty decent reads right there, especially with the uh, burst baits into the uh, grab punish. That was actually very nicely done by him. That being said, uh, Shifumi is uh, actually on a sort of a very nice run right there. He has Zeech in the corner, burstless. And, uh, oh my lord, he went for the command grab himself, but unfortunately, oh, got his DP baited. You can see that, yeah, Shifumi absolutely loves to DP. <laughs> he DPs even more than, oh my lord, are you serious? <laughs> oh my lord. <laughs> just let, just when I say it also, that's the funny thing. I just said like one second before, like, he really loves DP and what does he do? He DPs. <laughs> My lord. Uh, I think uh, Sora found a good mate. Oh man, now, this is his play. This is his cousin, or I don't know. It's probably yeah. his his yeah, brother, his oh, his twin. Did you see this guy? That was, that was yeah. actually really good. Like yeah. uh, it's not the first time he manages to do that, and uh, actually, uh, I think every time he prepares a DP, yeah. every time he does, he does a DP, he prepares like he presses five A just in case there's a clash, so that exactly. he can like recover, recover out of it. That's that's really smart, and that's exactly. really smart. I did manage to get the conversion of it. He didn't check the blood gauge, man. That's already the end. Yes, uh, first baited. And just like this, actually, Hifumi puts one on the board as well, man. Extremely well done by him. And that was extremely uh, extremely convincing as well. I mean, he didn't give a single round to Zeej during this, uh, this second match. So, extremely well done by him. Let's see if Zeej is going to uh, be able to bring adjustments by himself. Or if uh, Hifumi will end up taking it or not. Yeah, we're definitely going to see. I'm definitely looking forward to it as well. Oh, okay, here we go on to the third match of this encounter. We don't have any connection errors. This is perfect. <laughs> okay, I'm not gonna jinx it. I'm, I'm gonna shut up. <laughs> okay, here we go. The aerial approach by Hifumi. My lord, he uses the... He basically moves by using 2D. <laughs> Hifumi, a very unusual... Uh, oh, my lord. And that 4 HS uh, punish from uh, from Zij on the, um, the Nugget Burger of Hifumi. Very nicely done. You <laughs> finally Zeej forced to use the burst. Oh yeah, he smelled the DP but wasn't quite sure. And Kifumi like waiting the absolute last moment before popping the, the DP. He knew that Zeej was gonna go and try to uh, to to bait it. My lord, three <laughs> guard breaks in a row, man. <laughs> Kifumi not afraid, man. And just like this, the confirm of the 2k into the 2d for the win. Very nicely done. Yeah, yeah, explain. Like, uh, I mean, 
I mean, if he, if he doesn't if he doesn't work the first time, check the try the second time. If he doesn't work the second time, just try the third time. It will exactly. work. Like it will work eventually. <laughs> <laughs> it will work. Like. Oh my lord. Oh my lord. But nice, these nice are entire. real, man. Yeah. Yeah, the back the backpen P is actually one of the best entire of the game. So. That's okay. He's, he's, he's yeah. safe. Yeah. He's blessed. Yeah. Safe. This is. Not yeah. Even this safe. is. This is. Yeah, this is positive. Yeah, this yeah. the style viable uh, super is positive. It's actually one of the best super in the game. And he was, oh. uh, he was also a, one of the best super in the game back is in the day. Is that time. a miss input? Hey, hey, hey! Nice oh check! Lord, oh, there was a the nice GT check! Again. He burst! Oh. He burst! He burst! Come on! <laughs> Hifumi bringing it back two to one. The adaptation is oh, real. Nice. He wants his run back with the Sensei Daru, you know, man. You can feel it. He wants his run back. I know it. I can feel it. Damn, this is crazy hype. How is this going to unfold? Is Hifumi going to to be able to to get his revenge, or is is Zij going to bar the way for him to go back to the loop to to go back to have his uh, his chance? We shall see. Yeah, definitely. Maybe I think he will be like the first time. If Zidge loses here, I think it will be like the first time he's not in, in finals, right? Ooh, there are several other times where he wasn't able to uh, to to get his uh, his run in the finals. But uh, yeah, it, it will be it will definitely be uh, surprising if he is not capable of uh, of getting his run back in the dash. finals this time. Oh. It's the backdash. Oh no, no, because he was he was uh, RC. That was nice, nice decision here. Okay, good throw. You know the the, the throw setups. Nice back dash here to avoid the the beat slag. Yeah, yeah, of course. Good patience. He got a good patience. You know that after two deeds, it's so nah. easy to to DP. Yeah, of course. It. Here's the Ooh. throw. Maybe it will be the end. Almost, almost. Only one hit needed. Uh, yeah. Hey, you're in hey, limbo. Get the setup. You're in limbo. He, he gets the setup. Look you're at that. Look at that. Oh, hey. are you dead? Hey. No, hey, he's, he's not. not. He's not. Yeah. But no, he's not. But still, one touch. It's one touch. Oh, DP! DP! And DP! I knew it! I and knew it! DP. I knew it! I knew it! I knew it so much! And on to the match point right there from Shifumi steals it yet again! I, I'm sure he's annoying Z so much by doing this. I can feel it. I feel Z so annoyed right now. It's so funny. <laughs> We know what actually, is like actually this this situation is, is always in the advantage uh, of Nagoriyuki. Like yeah. it, it's for Nagoriyuki because it's is the only character whose yeah. normal can inflict cheap damage. Oh. So of course he has Oh this super this <laughs> My lord. This this we call in French a pif. Yeah. And that's a bon pif, it's a très bon un gros pif. Oh my lord it's a Oh, here you no, go, you're in limbo. Nice, you're open, you're nice dead. Nice close setup. Oh no! He's dead, he's dead. Oh, oh, try for the reset. Oh! Oh my oh, lord. Oh! oh, oh my god! <laughs> the DP. What oh no! Oh, run up and grab! Oh my lord, oh, he threw me! Wanted uh, he for me to win. And, you know, uh, good for you. Uh, he for me prevailed. Get on, here we go, this is the winner's final, it's gonna be Kokide against Arino. Japan versus Korea, both players have played against each other a lot, a lot of times. Last time, Arino was the one to lose, uh, as surprising as that's maybe. But Kokide is definitely no slouch, he's a very seasoned player, he's won a ton of different... Uh, oh my lord, and here you go, he got baited. Okay, Arino going up with the full extension, oh my lord, and catching the back dash. And here we go, oh my lord, oh, and Dario just walking straight, man, walking straight with the wall splat, this is freaking hype. Well played, Dario takes the first round. It's actually mad fun, like, to see it. you wall stuck, I'm just gonna walk at you, what's exactly. gonna happen next, you it's never so know. <laughs> it's exactly it's like, this, man. Ooh. It's like, the queen is walking, just bow. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> bow it's before so, me. <laughs> it's so Darun Ino like, like seriously. It's freaking out. Oh my <laughs> lord, and Darun with the hover and the counter hit right there. Ah, and the wake up order. This is gonna scoop, yeah. Here you go. Well played by Kohide. They didn't want to get too much. Oh, here we go. And Darun using the uh, heavy stroke to catch the backdash of Kohide and manages to take the first uh, round, the first match of this encounter. 
please disregard the uh, the score before it wasn't accurate. I reset it. It's, right now, it's it's good. Okay, here we go. So first match goes to Dario. How is it going to unfold right now? <clears throat> okay, on to the next battle. Kohide with 6,456. The level of this dude. Like, we got like... Uh, seems like we got like good top 3. Or, oh, definitely. Like, I, I mean the top 3 with no Nagoriyuki. It's, it's pretty rare, right? <laughs> You really don't like it, but I I, I totally understand you. <laughs> I don't like him either. Oh my lord, did you see that I'm cross? So, I'm sorry. As much as I as I as I like Zij, like I mean his Nago is, is, is completely is super good. Like I hate yeah. Nago. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's understandable. And here we go with Daru Ino and the perfect the statement from that man. Definitely out for blood. He didn't like the fact that Kohide won against him during the last time. So here we go, and I think that Daru Ino actually. Uh, understood that Kohide likes to backdash in the yeah, he saw that Kohide loves to backdash in the corner and he's making use of it. Oh my lord! <laughs> oh my lord! The walk of grace, the walk of space, man, the walk of freaking insur of assurance, man. That this is crazy, man. Daori, you know, all over the place right there, just controlling the pace of the match from start to finish. It's crazy to see him play like this. I actually didn't know that he didn't use the um, the wall splat uh, setup anymore. He just walks now with complete confidence. The walk of confidence, that's it. God damn, that's crazy. Okay, and on to potentially set point. Let's see how Darino and how Kohide manages. This man full on BM mode asserting dominance. Exactly, this is the walk of dominance, man. He doesn't care. <laughs> it's crazy. Ah, okay, here we go. Darino went for the attempted burst bait. Uh, good for Kohide to actually delay his burst. This is one of the ways that you have to uh, forego and not get hit by the um, the, uh, the, the, the the burst bait of uh, Ino. Okay, here we go. Kohide looking much more alive than the previous two matches right now. Almost on the verge of getting the, uh, the round, but just as I say this. Darurino in the onslaught back. Oh, and here we go with the Nasante. That was a cheeky Nasante, but very well placed. Here we go with the flip kick. Manages to catch the backdash and the instant dust for the kill. Well done by Kohide. Yeah, for on Kohide managed to get to get around that like pretty, pretty tough, right? But still, I'm still uh, strongly convinced that that Giovanna uh, can win the. The matchup again, oh, definitely. Know, but of course, of course, Daru knows yeah. his opponent so well, and he knows the matchup so well. He like trained a lot of stuff. That was a nice backdash. So he to throw. Yeah, you, you think you can throw me in the corner? Then I will. Okay, that that's that's a really nice setup. We love to see it. Yeah, charge does. That's what deals the more the most damage. Um, on the wall break. Oh. On the wall, there's the zoning 2D oh. of course. Yeah. Oh, Finally, we got to see that hit. That's super hit. And that's one for Kohide. I wonder if that was a, a, a reaction uh, a reaction aerial overdrive right there. I wonder if it was on reaction. If that's the case, like the reactions of Kohide are freaking godlike, man. Recognizing I that uh, that Darino actually pressed the button and boom, just popping it out right away. I need to, to watch the uh, the replay just to see if uh, if uh, there was a punished or not. But we'll see, we'll see. Anyways, man, that, that response from Kohide full of... Uh, of... Um, of pride, I'd say, even. Like, seriously, the, the, this match is very violent on a lot of different uh, angles, man. And here with Darino immediately with the start of the match with the counter hit, manages to bring Koide in the corner, but Koide uh, manages to find his way out of the corner and puts Darino in. Okay, here we go. Finally pushes the burst from Darino. Very nice throw from Kohide. Definitely does not want uh, Darino to get out of the corner. And just like this. This is gonna do. Nope, he's not gonna do. Very well done by Kohide though. On the verge of winning this one, he takes. Yeah, the... this is plus. Yeah, this is plus. You do not press buttons after this, but Darino probably tried to read like a, a front dash from uh, from Kohide or something. And as you can oh, see, uh, Darino not using the burst bait anymore because he knows that Kohide is not going to bite. And very nice Nasante counter hit right there. Very nicely done. That's, oh, and that's the wall break with the super. Gonna get 
Finnegrin and Noki. Daruino must must be really careful, but Daru right now has his burst. He has he uh, he had some meter. Nice bait of the the 2D. I mean, nice throw punish. That that was good. Didn't have, even have to use uh, his burst. Maybe he's gonna get the round here. That's 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 it. Yeah. Damn. Are you serious? Okay, here we go. So Daruino actually manages to equal things out. But just as I say this, Kohide manages to... Oh, and forces the burst of Darino. Oh, very nicely. <gasps> the recognition of Darino, understanding that Kohide has been extremely potent in using his Nasante to enter him, baited the Nasante, punished it with the heavy stroke, and just made and got and resorted to using a uh, wall breaking combo. He tried to bait the burst this time around. Oh, my lord! And grabs oh my Kohide God. out of his dust attempt. This is like, I, I really cannot tell what the outcome is going to be on this one. Which is pretty good. That means that it's a very, it, it's bound to be an entertaining match, I, I believe. Actually, actually the matchup is, I, I want to say, slightly even. Yeah, I, I cannot, uh, yeah, even like, the matchup, I don't know who has the edge, you know. Yeah, I, 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 actually, it's it's more like, uh, the, Liu has a very, very slight advantage yeah. uh, against Giovanna, but if if he's like uh, really releasing his attention for like one second, he can be beaten to death. Oh by my Rainer. lord, did you see this? <laughs> you won't get me twice with this. <laughs> this is the statement yeah. of you for me. Yeah. You got me once, fool me once. Uh, shame on you, fool me twice. Shame on me. Okay, here we go. F Shifumi finally resorting to using the burst. Okay, here we go with the onslaught of Kohide. Very nice recognition of the 2P of Shifumi. Is he gonna get it? I think this is gonna... Yeah, this is gonna do... Oh, no, it's not actually, no? Yeah, it's not. What? Oh, this is a punch. Oh, my lord, the DP. <laughs> Shifumi, the DP king. The DP lord, man. <laughs> this is it's crazy. Like, you, you know, you know, like, he likes throwing yeah. a DP a lot, but... Yeah. Uh, uh, for for some reason, you, you never expect it. Yeah, but the, like the timing at which he throws the DP is not yeah. very uh, obvious also. That's the reason why it's so hard to punish, because you don't expect it. He never does it when, when you expect it, or else it would never hit, obviously. Oh, there we go. Oh, very nice Nasante right there. Catches him out of the air. Reminds me, actually reminds me of Akarol's Leo. Oh, okay. That's actually it's a like very he, good uh, compliment. <laughs> Because he he actually actually uh, across as he's he's on way to play he's like he will be he will, he will play like super clean yeah super clean for like five minutes then yeah. the round right after doing like three DP neutral and he will <laughs> take them all he's staying like unpredictable that's the way you yeah play. he's, he's yeah. super unpredictable mm -hmm. again the two K into the two D very nice recognition from uh, Hifumi. Oh, Gary go Kohide using the 2D caught uh, caught Hifumi out of the air on block, but uh, unfortunately, well, he caused the uh, uh, was forced to burst right after. Uh, finally, gets Hifumi and forces him to burst. Here we go, very nice grab from Kohide. Got Hifumi right in the corner, and he baited successfully. D DP into combo into heavy knockdown. Okay, here we go. Hifumi has to guess. Okay, well. No need to guess if you use the DP. <laughs> and very nice punish on the uh, the fully charged dust from Kohide. Very well done. Okay, first round goes to Kohide. Very nicely done. Let's see if Hifumi is going to find some sort of adjustment to try to bring it back. We shall see. Man, this freaking tournament is so high. Why? <laughs> Okie dokie, on to the next battle. This looks pretty fresh, like to see Ethan Leo here. Oh, definitely. We don't yeah. get that many Leos, and I don't understand yeah. why Japan doesn't doesn't play Leo, you know? He has so many great uh, great tools, like the DP, the crossover, like the, the, the like it's a literal command mix tool, like the Zage, the yeah, Zage, the, yeah. The only Leo, the only active at high level uh, Leo I know in Japan is actually Gessi. Oh yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah but, uh, and I don't even think that Tomo is still playing. Ah, uh, you mean uh, I'm, Amito? I'm, I'm ah, Tomo? Sure. Tomo. No, no, Tomo. 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 Yeah. He, I don't know. He was, he was the best, the best uh, Japanese Leo in the so. Okay, okay. I never saw him in any, in any tournament here. So I would suspect that he's probably not playing him. 
You also have Omito, I think, who's also a, uh, uh, a Leo player, but he doesn't participate to tournaments, so we never really see him, unfortunately. But yeah, definitely Gisui, uh, the best Leo um, in Japan, that is. Uh, in abroad, you do have another one that's called... Well, of course, you have Akorel in, uh, in Europe, but in, in America, you have... Um, uh, in Europe, you, you got Akorel, you got yeah. Nelkel. Uh, yeah. uh, he's actually... Nelkel is it's currently the best uh, European deal. Okay, he's even Italian. more than Akorel. Yeah. He's Italian, yeah. You got like Neos, cool. he did put France, another one on the but in, in America, you have one who is extremely good as well, and I forgot his name. And he's, uh, he's a friend of, uh, obviously, he's a friend of uh, Hoist uh, Hotashi. I forgot his name, though. Ah, well, it's okay. He's a very good uh, Leo player, managed Are to get several matches off of Darwin during their exhibition. In, in, in Berry Bones? In America, and his name I forgot. Uh, in, uh, yeah, yeah. in America. In America, I don't, I don't know. Yeah. Radzo. Oh, yeah. The, the, oh, yeah. Radzo, Radzo. Exactly, Radzo. Yeah, Radzo, Radzo. But actually, K7 actually is a very, very good uh, a Leo as well, now that you mentioned it. But yeah, Radzo, man. Radzo is... I believe Radzo is the best Leo in the world, I think, personally. He has, like, a crazy good Leo. Oh, and here we go. The save jump. That was save to, jump. Yeah, exactly. Very nice punish. Uh from Kohide on Kifumi. Kohide looking very good right now, looking to uh, actually get his chance back against Daru Sensei. Very nice confirm from Kohide. And just like this, we are on match point. Let's see how this goes. Oh my lord. And nice chase. Cha that chase was crazy. Ooh, was that a back dash? Yeah, that, that was a back dash. Yeah. To make the, uh, yeah, to make the, um, the charge the... Yeah, fight. Giovanna's 5k 6p uh, Sepultura is like full of frame trap. Ooh. It's a really, it's a really good uh, setup slash combo. Hey, hey, good Nascente. Of course, Nascente once once it's blocked in the air, it, it is positive. Ooh, you better, ah, you better have one confirms. about when you do that. Is, is it gonna kill? Is yeah, it gonna, is kill? gonna kill? It is. Oh, and man. just like this, Kohide takes it three. Yeah, Neil. <laughs> the full tournament that we had today is gonna be Daru Ino against Kohide. So this is gonna be the run back of Kohide. Let's see if he is able to bring it back. And here we go with Daru Ino and the the OG color, the color that he always uses it. Oh, that's yeah, used like uh, the color seven on his first match. I don't know why, yeah. but. It's, it's in the mood. Say. Yeah, exactly. Nice I think match. he changed yeah. a lot the colors actually. Yeah. yeah, yeah. He wanna he wanna check his his mod with different colors. I guess. Exactly. Hey, hey, hey! Let's go. Darwin is is already. Oh, what? That was strange. You yeah. see that? Like, like yeah. he, the entire his sultry performance is died with a five P like, but in his like in reverse. Exactly. No, so that's so strange. That was so OD. <laughs> exactly. That was OD. And actually, just like this, Koki did manage to take the first round. This is uh, looking pretty good for him, actually. Oh, here we go. Very nice uh, decision of Darino to try to control the neutral by using the note. Okay, here we go. Koki did a good uh, ID right there. He went over the uh, 6P attempt of Darino. He gets the conversion. He's gonna get the wall grab. The wall breaking. The wall grab. I need to stop saying this. <laughs> He didn't. Uh, he didn't use the uh, the his overdrive though, even though he had some. Oh, okay. Here we go. Finally, pours the burst off of Daru. Oh my lord! And the schmixes are real. No, oh, and that's something this is gonna do. Oof, okay. Oh, very nicely done. That that that's the flex. That's the flex. That's the yeah. style point. We 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 get it. I exactly. see you, man. I see you. <laughs> that's the style point. We like it. Kohide out for blood definitely wants uh, to win this uh, this encounter against Darino because he knows that he already beat him in tournament previously so he wants to ascertain the fact that he can systematically and uh, regularly beat uh, Darino so and also he's on grand final so if he wins this one he wins all of it so yeah definitely Kohide out for blood right now let's see if Darino oh my lord and a big two HS start counter hit start of the round very nicely done. Oh, here go forces the burst golden burst by Kohide. Kohide doesn't use his stanchion to his Roman cancel too. 
uh, make his Nassant is safe. This is unfortunate for him, but yeah, uh, the, he actually changed the tide of the battle right now. He's gonna get... Oh, he dropped it? Or was it intentional? I actually don't know. But don't here know. we go, he gets the wall break again. The Nasantes has been working so much for Kohide, man. Damn. Kohide is on fire. I know, right? Let's go. Crazy. Holy crap, bro. Man. Ooh. Taru Ino is uh, has adapted. Look at the damage. Like, who said uh, Ino doesn't deal any damage? <laughs> Come on, look at that. Like, look at that. It's already the end of the round. Hey! A perfect, oh like, my lord, and the big statement from Taru Ino and saying, I'm not going down without a fight. Definitely not. Especially since Taru Ino needs only one set to win, whereas Kohide is in the loser's bracket. He needs two sets to win. Here we go, Taru Ino back on track. Definitely found something. Ah, uh, was that a. Uh, was that a uh, misinput? I really don't know. Actually, ooh, oh. ooh, oh, we're really gonna get the conversion. He tried to bait it, but yeah, we did not biting, not taking the bait. Oh, here we go. Darino definitely baiting these Nasante. This is not the first time he's doing this. Okay, here we go, but yeah, we're looking very, very good right now. Oh, Nasante. Oh, he almost got the conversion and the That's slide it. grab for the win. Kohide takes it. Holy freaking crap, it's crazy. Holy and Kohide no. is at only one point from the reset. Exactly, on the verge of resetting this bracket. This is crazy, and Hakuman with the oh clutch. That was clutch indeed. And on to the third match. Everything is going Kohide's way for now. What is Sensei Daru Ino going to do? He's in dire straits. Well, actually, he still has one. He has like two chances to, to win, so it's, it's okay. It's definitely not. Not do it, friend. It's fine. <laughs> Taruino can can has proven many times that he, he can adapt. Like he is he is a sensei. That's a good. Uh, that's a good. It's not punish, but good uh, blocking of the gold burst. I'd say. So he now nah, he doesn't have the the, the bar the gouge, but still look at. Look at the good damage. Like, he's doing yeah. the same thing as he, as he did just before. Look at that. It's already almost... Oh, what a throw! Like, this, oh that, my that was lord. Just, like a really good throw. Will he force uh, Darwino to burst here? No, I don't, I don't think so. Maybe Darwino wants to keep his burst for the next one. That was so good. This BRC was so good. That was pretty crazy. As expected from Daru Sensei, here we go. He puts one on the board. He still has to win three matches in a row if he wants to take this tournament. Uh, and yeah, just as I said previously, like uh, um, Kohide is on the verge of resetting the bracket. He still has a pretty long road ahead of him in order to win this uh, this uh, this tournament. But just knowing that he potentially could reset the bracket is motivation enough. Here we go with the burst bait right there. This is going to do a lot of damage. Kohide looking extremely good right now. Kohide doesn't want to uh, break the wall with his super. There, yeah, he's strange, always keeping actually, it out, but thanks to he this. Could, he, could have, yeah. he could get a really good Oki out of that, but well, for now it's, it's fine. <laughs> yeah, definitely. And thanks to this, just like this, Kohide on the verge of resetting the bracket. Yeah, oh, and here we go. Very nice counter hit and combo followed by Daru. E no! Oh, and then Asante again to Hester. Daru no man. Oh, and the slide man. Oh my lord. This is so good. The spacing of Kohide is crazy, man. The spacing of Kohide is pristine, man. I'm using the Nasante a lot to just pester. pester he's dead. Daru no he's so dead. Much. He's dead. dead. That's the reset. Yeah, that's the reset. That's the reset. That's yeah, the reset. That's it. That is the reset. Ladies and gentlemen, Kohide has reset and he bracket it's crazy oh my lord it's crazy very well played by kohide so this was the first um uh, well that was the first Wait, test the second just like this we have to reset let me just update this and i did it in new time so the bracket has been reset we are back to zero zero kohide has put darino in the losers now uh, everything is game, basically. This is probably the first time we have a reset, I think. Oh, no, we did have uh, other resets we did, but uh, not between these two. Oh, my lord. Here we go. Ah, and the slide, the stroke, a heavy stroke from Daruno to catch. 
to go underneath uh, whatever Kohide was trying to do right there. Okay, yeah, Darino is definitely feeling angry right now. He's not, he doesn't want to lose again to the two. To the youngster, to Kohide, I can feel it. Okay, he didn't use the... Okay, very nice. Oh, he's gonna get the... Oh, and he got the conversion of the Roman cancel. The quick Roman cancel right there. Very nicely done. The Darino combo. Oh, that was maybe a... Yeah, that was definitely a miss, but... It is in play. Okay, here you go. He got the Oki. He's going low this time around, recognizing that Kohide... Oh, okay, my lord. Kohide not afraid. Oh, and the 2D counter hit for the pickup. It was invalid, but yeah, it's fine, I guess. Oh, Oh, and that, 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 that's, yeah, no, he dropped that. He dropped it, that's in characteristic. Yeah. That, 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 that's so, un that's so unfortunate. Okay, he doesn't have any conversion, but actually, that, yeah. Damn, Kuhi did not um, going down without a fight, man. This is going back and forth, back and forth, like a ping pong match. It's crazy, man. Holy freaking lord. Yeah. Oh, and here we go with this, with the clutch. Heavy stroke right there, and again. Oh, yeah, forces finally Kohide to use his burst. But it's not over. Oh, okay, here we go with Kohide trying the cheeky stuff. Oh, my lord, and just run and grab. Kohide can, Kohide can actually get this. Yeah, he can. He can actually yeah. win, win a, a second yeah. time against uh, Daru. It's no, like, definitely not out of the one, realm of possibility. Only yeah. one opening needed. Yeah, he knew. He knew. Oh. He already saw the, the DRC. Oh, Who was that? No. Who was that, Daru? Daru, I think oh, he, he he thought that I think he he thought that Koide was gonna gonna try to uh, dash at that particular moment, and so he tried to get the golden burst out of it. If he got the gold yeah. burst, I think he would have been able to take it. But yeah, without the burst, that was basically death right there for Daruno. Unfortunately, it's still not over by any means. Uh, Daruno can definitely make a comeback. This is the third match in a row he loses, though the second match actually. Uh, that he loses in a row, so yeah, Daruno needs to make make some um, some um, some change in his game plan, I suppose, or else the youngster might end up taking it. <laughs> and there you go. Let's see how it goes. Oh my lord, this is so hype! Oh, here we go, Daruno, trying to catch the back dashes of uh, of Kohide. Actually. Yeah, Kohide really back dashing like his life depending on it. <laughs> it's crazy. Oh my lord, and here we go, the wake up grab from Kohide. Oh, going empty, man. Okay, this is. Uh, uh, and no six. No six nice. from Daru. Daru. Def oh, no, this is bad. That's blocked. This is That's bad. Blocked. Yeah. That would have been dead, yeah. actually, if uh, Kohide used the overdrive. Yeah. Uh, Daru, no. yeah, probably. Oh my lord, yeah, Daru no getting scooped by the, uh, by the Nasante, like, every single time. Yeah, you see? He's getting yeah, scooped no. by the, the, the Nasante all I, the time. I told you, I told you, right? Sol Nasante is the Inno worst. Uh, oh, definitely. He's what ma it, it was makes uh, Giovanna so dangerous, you know. Oh, it? definitely. Here we go. Oh, okay, here we go, Daru no going for the... Mixes. Oh my lord! I, I got there. Hit. We go. That's that, that's the end. Is, is it the end? Yeah, like, this is. Yeah, yeah no. that, that's it. That's <laughs> definitely. <laughs> oh my he lord! Made the, the queen walk. Yeah, and that, there you have to get this one though. Uh, the first one went to Koki. I'm sorry, it wasn't Darino. Darino didn't win the. Yeah. Point. Darino needs this one. If he, yeah, he definitely needs this one. Or else he's he's gonna be on on match on tournament point, and this is not something he wants to do. Ooh, okay, here we go. The punish very nicely done. Here we go. Another. Heavy stroke. Oh, okay, here we go. He went for the reset. Ah, and this is gonna be big damage. Right there, he's gonna get the uh, the heavy knockdown and the Oki. Oh, oh yeah, and just let it rip. Is it yeah. safe jump? Yeah, is no, it safe not. jump? Yeah, he didn't save. He didn't, uh, 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 didn't save jump it correctly. I knew it. I knew it. Yeah, Koide alternating between the 2D and the Nasante. To try to. Oh my lord, this is bad. Nice yeah, gold burst. Yeah. In, that's, no! that's it! That's it! That's the end! And that's the two. Oh, oh for Kohide! Man, Kohide it's. On the Kohide is winning on it. fire! Kohide yeah. is on fire, man! Like, he got. I, I, I believe he got destroyed. Uh, 3 0. Oh, no, yeah. it was 3 0. 3 0. By Daru. Ah, three Daru, one, yeah. no, it was 3 1. It was 3 1 in yeah. the winner's final. And now in grand final, he's did. He's done like 3-0 and yeah. he's going to do a 3-0 again if yeah. he wins this match. That's that's 
Like, he's completely not case. It's crazy. Like, I, I've rarely found Daru Ino struggling that much against a uh, a, a Giovanna player, in, except, like, Ooh. perhaps, like, Kuai or something. You know? it's crazy. But actually, recently, I think that Kokide uh, fought a... Um, how do you call it? Um, he had a set against Kuai and actually managed to win in, like, uh, first to ten or something. And he won against Kuai, apparently, he did it. So yeah, Kuhide oh, not a slug. One, one, yeah, one in matchup against T.Y.? Against yeah, he won a set of first to ten or something against T.Y. No, and uh, in a tournament actually. In tournament, he won in tournament against T.Y. So yeah, uh, Kohide is definitely no slouch. He's no slouch at all. He's a very good player. Oh, and the bait though. Yeah, this is death. Very nicely done. Finally, Darino looking alive. He needs this one, yeah. Uh, 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 and the backdash. Uh, hey, hey, hey. <laughs> oh my lord. Oh, here we go. The 2S counter hit for Darino. Okay, he tried to beat the URC and again Darino getting it. He knew by it. The, he knew it. That, the he, he's dying. He's dying actually. Yeah, this he's is dead. Death, yeah. This is death. Yeah. Oh, we're not. Nah, Ooh, oh, he's not. But, but uh, only one opening. Oh! Oh! He still has some sub oh, no. meter. And there's no Bad one time. Up, like, it's, and we're it's on not tournament the first point. time. Yeah. It's not the first time like that Kohide managed to hit, I mean, to land a, um, a wake up throw. That means basically that Daru is not. Uh, it's not woke oh, up Lord. enough. I mean, uh, uh, I don't know, like, to, to, to miss his melees like this. I don't know. But actually. Go. Oh. <laughs> oh my lord. Ah! Oh, my, this is so tense. This is so tense. Oh no! Oh no! This is, this is like oh, a smash no. game. This is like yeah. a smash game. You know, you see, you see Kokine doing like dash dance, dash dance. And yeah. at, at some point, at some point, you would like, you will be, go for a, for a dash stall, Nashente, and that will be the end. Only one opening needed. He got his meter ah, This is bad. There's a trade, there's a trade. He's got everything. Oh no! And that's it. That's oh it. my <laughs> lord, and just like this.